reading is pick up a card reading and today we will see how can you attract someone specific in your mind how can you attract them and keep them as well so with anyone in your mind anybody and we'll see how can you attract them and how can you keep them interested in you through knowing their personality and what are they looking for so we have two options today this nice tree it's amethyst and this one it is uh, pink quartz so i'll give you a few seconds to choose and then we start All right, let's start. So we'll start with the uh, Banky Quartz. Start with the uh, Banky Quartz. And let's see how can you attract this specific person in your mind. So imagine them, put them in your mind, and now we will see how can you attract them and keep them. Now, this is the energy of this relationship, general energy for this relationship. It is a judgment. So this is, looks like it's a past life relationship or a committed relationship. You could be in a committed relationship with this person or just a spiritual relationship or a soul connection relationship, either. So you could be in a committed relationship with this person or this is just a spiritual relationship. Okay, you go here. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing 
your focus on another. Now is the time to give it to yourself. And I will leave the rest for the cards when we finish. This, this advice is for you. Okay, let's see. This is your energy. It is the princess of pentacles. It is the queen of pentacles. So this person actually now focusing on their money, their work, their financial situation, they doing their budget. This is their focus at the moment. Is just fixing their finance or their money situation. And this is your energy. Wheel of Fortune. And it has Pentacle in it as well. Uh, maybe you, you the one who are not in a good financial situation, because you do have one pentacle. This person has a lot of pentacle, and they trying to count how much they have, and they still have more here. So this person actually in a good financial situation, but they are care more. They care more about money. This person cares more about money or their financial stability but they look like that they are in a good financial situation at the moment I don't think you are in a good financial situation maybe you're still looking for work or at least you don't know if you are in a good financial situation maybe you are not satisfied you are not satisfied of what you have at the moment regardless how much you have or what you are in you as well have this card as an advice it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give it to yourself you shouldn't put all your focus on this person at the moment you need mainly to focus on yourself What's the positive about this person's personality? What's good in their personality? They are the Eight of Cups. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, this person has no problem to leave anything, any, anybody, and just being alone. And they have a strong heart. It's not good. They can walk away. This person has a very strong personality. They can walk away and they can be alone. They can be alone. They can live alone, they can stay alone, they can walk alone. They have no problem and they're not that emotional. They do what's right for them. This is what's good about them. Or, is, or uh, their strength. The strength in their personality. The weakness about their personality or what's bad about their personality. The Queen of Wands. This is mean that this person mainly focus about themselves and they love to show off. They love to be the center of attention. Uh, they love themselves. I think this person is uh, mainly, I feel like, egocentric. Egocentric. Okay, let me, uh, I need to get this cards now. This is what's unique about you. What's unique about them. And this is what they want in the personality of the person they, they are after. They want someone who can bring warmth in their coldness, light to their darkness, happiness to their depression, but also someone who understands how important the cold, the dark, and depression is to them. They don't like to have someone who second guess themselves. They want someone who is really confident because this person very, very strongly confident in themselves. They don't need anybody. They can walk away by themselves alone. They can stay alone. They're not emotional. They're very practical. And they mainly focus on themselves. So they won't give you much, I think. This is a hard personality, actually. Harsh person. Okay, let's not judge them and just continue. 
this person is not after anyone who second guess themselves. So if you have any problem, you have to fix your problem by yourself. If you are emotionally unstable, you have to make yourself stable. So this person will not help you to boost your confidence. You, you are the one who has to do it for yourself. But they are looking for someone who can bring warmth in their calmness, light to the darkness, happiness to their depression, but also someone who understands how important the cold, the dark, and the depression is to them. Um. Okay. okay, what's unique about them? Wolf, nine of fossils. Let me read this for you from the book. If you know what's unique about them, this is the key how to attract them. Maybe they don't know this about themselves. Okay, this is the wolf, nine of fossils. It is a nine of pentacles, and it's uh, about self-reliance, expertise, confidence, dedication, contentment. Yeah, it is content. This person is very content by themselves. Okay, so this is commanding respect and demanding excellence. Wolf teaches the art of self-discipline, how to master instincts, control impulses, and trust insights. It takes powerful medicine to force us to face our fear and realize judgment in order to know who we really are. Wild and loyal, the dictated yet free. Wolf finds wisdom through independence of spirit. Working with wolf requires sincerity, honesty, depth, and commitment. Nine of fossil signals maturity and accomplishment. Grounded to earth while sensitive to spirit. We are content and happy to share the wealth of our experience with others. Receiving the scar suggested appreciation and acceptance of self. For Wolf, success is traveling one's path with integrity, compassion, and honor. The message is be true to yourself. So now you understand that this person is very confident. This person mainly rely on themselves. They didn't reach to this strength unless they gone through a lot. Maybe this is why that this person, they are self-reliant. And this is why this person actually is only lean on themselves and they can walk alone. Okay, so now you know that the main thing about this person's personality is nine of fossil or wolf. They are self-contained. And they are looking for someone is the sign. Someone who's not second guess themselves. Someone who has a strong self confidence. Okay, what is unique about you? The penguin fear of shells. Let me read this for you from the book. Okay, penguin of shells it is a page of cups and it is earth of water earth is the seal the shells is the water so this is like a combination here between water and earth element the quality of this card is thoughtful sensitive artistic kind so this is your quality what's unique about you this seal is a gentle thoughtful dreamer intuitive Playful and sensitive to nature's beauty, generous with kind words and caring gesture, pointing out synchronicities and messages from nature. Seer of shell opens our heart, realizing childlike wonder. The mixture of water and the earth elements can help us to express heartfelt sentiments and work on creative visions in grounded, practical ways. Stylishly balanced in black and white, penguin merges self and soul, reminding us to dive into the great depth of our imagination and manifest the magic of our dreams. The message for this card is adapt to circumstances, open to wonder, 
embrace the adventure okay so what's unique about you is that you are balanced body and soul and you are still very imaginative person and you are as well thoughtful sensitive artistic and kind so you are more like a dreamer very sensitive and this person is very very practical so you can see here i feel that this is you see you are very sensitive very emotional uh, very kind thoughtful but this person is very practical someone who is thinking mainly by their mind like they don't care much about emotion they are not that sensitive but i have feeling that this person have gone through a lot because they, they care more about money or financial situation practical stuff they could be have gone through a harsh time or a hard childhood poverty or maybe they grew up like an orphan something like that maybe this is why they are that strong and they don't care much about emotion so now you know that you are a very sensitive person and this person is self-contained listen you could be if you can't attract this person i would say that you might be in a codependent situation it has nothing to do with that person it's not about that you are very linked to them i think it's something you need to focus on your personality at the moment you could be codependent on others emotionally this person is absolutely is not codependent this person is absolutely self-contained so this is why here it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself so you need to get back to yourself and make the balance inside you being emotional artistic uh, spiritual is great but still you probably went to extreme left maybe rather than being emotional and a dreamer you became codependent emotionally on another so now is the time to balance yourself it has nothing to do with that person regardless if you want to attract that person if you can if you don't want if you can't that's not a problem because this will be a problem for you with anyone this is just a message this person could be just a message maybe this is why you have uh, the relationship energy here is a judgment this is kind of awakening for you it's a message this relationship this person is a message for you it's an awakening message for you to realize who you are to realize your worth and to work on yourself okay so let's continue what they like in their partner and what they don't want in their partner or the, the person they are seeking this is what they like what they don't like what they are seeking is the four of swords and what they don't like is the seven of cups or seven of uh, butterflies so this person is looking for someone who is able to be by themselves someone who can lean and depend on themselves in hard situations someone who is self-contained like them probably someone who is strong and someone who loves the isolation loves to be by themselves they can be by themselves alone without them if they are busy or if they're doing something like you don't lean on them for your own happiness someone who's quiet probably someone who's private too what they don't like they don't like people or someone who is living illusion who is not realistic maybe someone who's not a dreamer too <laughs> maybe yeah, they don't like someone who is a dreamer someone who's not realistic or someone who's living in their own fantasy world and if you can see here this is could explain to you why you couldn't attract that person i'm not saying that you don't have what they are looking for but maybe you just need to balance yourself a bit you are quite a dreamer which is great you're probably an artist or have a strong artistic nature but this person could be seeing you as uh, just living in your own fantasy world and you are detached from the reality 
this is why it's telling you here that it is important you right now to sit back or take a step back and instead of focusing on this person focus on balancing yourself if still if you want to attract that person that would be the way as well is to balance yourself and this is the way you can attract that person you can see this is what uh, is their strength this person is very strong and they can be by themselves they don't like to be with overly emotional people or emotionally dependent Now, what they want in the relationship and what they don't want in the relationship. This is what they want. This is what they don't want or the deal breaker in a relationship. What they want is the king of wands. Okay. If you look at the king of wands, what the king of wands means? This is means that this person, this is what they seek in the relationship. But let's see what the king of wands means. This is mean that they are looking for someone who is optimistic, confident, strong, friendly, funny, charming. <laughs> and someone who is free thinking, motivated, action oriented, proud of themselves, passionate, honest, loyal. The king of wands as well is someone who is very charming, someone who is fearless, free thinking person and very motivated and action oriented too. This person is very highly independent and they don't want someone who is stopping them from enjoying their life or someone who is overly emotional as I told you. This person is a free thinker. It does not mean that this person is not compassionate too, but just in a balanced way. So bear in mind that nothing will turn this person quicker than you being clingy or needy. This person is attracted to partners who are independent and strong and do not try to restrict their freedom. If they feel emotionally overwhelmed, they will emotionally cut off quite suddenly and they will run from you. So remember to allow this person their freedom if you want to have a long lasting relationship with them. Now what they don't like in the relationship is the three of swords. They don't like the conflict. They don't like people will be sad around them or just crying on the spilt milk, something like that. Probably this person needs honesty too in the relationship. This person is loyal, so they want someone in the relationship or they after a loyal, confident relationship, reality. And they don't like the setback or the dishonesty, cheating in a relationship. So descending into arguments, nasty comments, or criticism will only cause the situation with this person to get worse. This is can indicate as well that this person does not like the idea that every time you feel sad or unhappy of them is just to leave them behind or to break up with them. They prefer someone in a relationship who is open and are able to express their feelings. They don't like as well people in a relationship who are not able to tell them straightforward what they want, what they after, what they are unhappy about. Someone who is able to express themselves. This card as well can indicate that the involvement of a third party. So this person does not, because that person is, will be a very loyal person into one one to one relationship this is a character of the king of wands so this is means that this person will not never put themselves in a third party situation or a third party relationship so if you do have a relationship from your sign or if they are in a relationship probably you will not have much luck with this person because this person does not like cheating so if you have someone from your sign like a third party from your side, this person will not have a relationship with you. They don't like cheating. And if they have someone, is they already committed to someone, they will never have a relationship with you. So think about it. If you are in a third party situation with this person, either from your side, from their side, this person will never have a relationship with you. Unless they are alone, you are alone. 
like it's one one relationship this person does not like cheating does not like have multiple relationships they don't want to put themselves under any condition in a third party situation relationships now what are they looking for at the moment so we see if this person is looking for you looking for someone like you at the moment what are they looking for now chariot okay this is mean that this person i think mainly is looking now for their career their success because this is their energy too they mainly looking for at the moment at the moment what they are looking for now mainly at the moment looking for success um, their career maybe money situation if they are looking for a relationship they will be looking for something will work fast for them like straightforward a straightforward something is straightforward that's why what what they don't like in a relationship is the third party it doesn't have to be like third party is someone it's like the dishonesty they are after something straightforward and clear a clear path and something who's progressing a clear path and a progressing exactly now what they like about you what they don't like about you what they like about you is the uh, nine of cups what they don't like is the uh, high of it this is mean that they like about you that you are very optimistic someone who is playful joy lots of fun uh, you are lucky and you bring luck to other you are very positive you are radiating positive energy you are very spiritual you are full of gifts you are very artistic so this person has a very strong positive point of view about you they see you as a sign of luck for everyone you bring luck to everybody around you because of your positivity but i feel that they think that you bring luck to everyone around you except yourself because they see you here as a negative trait as you are very traditional or you stick only to what you know only and you're not giving yourself a chance to try something new they could be seeing you as someone who's very traditional you doing only what you know, but you're not trying to do something new for yourself because you will never know if something good or bad unless you try it. So they see that you have lots of gifts, lots of talents, lots of positivity that you don't know about yourself and you bring it to other people around you while you restrict it. You don't give yourself a chance to be open to other possibilities, other ideas, other spirituality, Probably they see you as someone who is uh, someone that's very stubborn, probably. And you're doing what you only know, like traditionally. You follow what you know, you go in the same street, you eat in the same plate. You do the same thing, what people are telling you. You don't want to get out of your way to try something new. You limit your possibilities. How they see the relationship now with you is the magician. They actually see that this relationship is coming from above. It's coming from above for them to gain something new in their life. Probably you, you did bring them luck. You were the, the reason of their luck at the moment. This person is now counting their coins or get prosper because of the relationship with you. You have opened their mind to something new could be the creativity their creativity their different possibilities in life you did bring luck to their life this relationship extended their horizon was the reason of their luck at the moment they could be seeing the relationship with you as well as maybe a work relationship they see you as a work colleague maybe if you're asking about someone you still are crushing on someone at your work and you're crushing on so this person probably see you as a possibility or see this relationship as a possibility of achieving their goals or going forward in their life their success it could be something materialistic as well now 
What's unique about this person regarding this relationship? This person mainly focus on themselves, <laughs> but they are prosper too. This person is the empress. Like they are able to turn anything into gold, probably. This person is very confident and they know their worth. And they very prosper. And they love themselves. And they appreciate the beauty too. How can you move this relationship forward, the star? So just have hope. Be optimistic. Do your healing if you need healing. Because I think that you will need to sit by yourself and balance yourself first. And if you after this person, if you want this person, you know now everything about their personality. What good and bad about them. What are they looking for? How they see you? The advice. Ace of Pentacles. Give your relationship a chance. Give yourself a chance to move forward in your life. Open yourself to new possibilities. Give a second chance to this relationship if you think that you can work on it. If not, so you need to move forward and find another chance somewhere else. This relationship actually for some of you, it could be only a lesson. Like something for you to learn about yourself. Because I think that this person is reflecting your shadow. This person is your shadow, actually. is different than you. It's the opposite of you, actually. This is a very practical person. You are a dreamer person. So think about it. Think about it. Is this relationship what you want? Is this person what you want? Now you know everything about them. You know everything about the relationship. Probably about yourself or how at least they see you and what they expect in the relationship. If you think you the one for them, you can do it. If you think you can fix whatever you can fix and be with them, it's up to you. If you think it's not, have hope and just move forward and find something better for yourself. All right, thank you, the pink stone. Oh, let me tell you the star signs. Aquarius. The Taurus, Cancer, that's it. And all energies are here. Water energy, the earth energy, fire energy, and the air energy. All right. So thank you, the Link Stone. We hope you like this reading. And I should see you next time. Now is the verbal tree, the amethyst tree. Let's see how can you attract this person if you can or if you want. And how can you keep them as well.
This is incredible. Okay, so now the energy for this reading is the five of one. So this is looks like there is a big conflict in this relationship. You're probably in trouble together, or there could be other people involved in, in this relationship. Uh, people in between you, or people. So this relationship has a big conflection. It could be other people involved in this confliction could be now or maybe in the past or could be a competition it could be kind of a competition between you both as well you're competing with each other okay now let's see this is your advice card you probably maybe you need to see uh, the first reading, the pink stone, if you didn't watch it. We got this card too, as an advice too. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. What they are after? They are after someone who takes all the hate and highlights all the positivity. Someone who is able to truly talk to them and they challenge them. It's an enough a challenge actually. <laughs> you have a lot of a challenge already. Okay, what they don't want? They don't like people or the person who easily gets stressed. They probably don't like the person who lose their temper easily at least. Okay. This is what's unique about you. What's unique about them? I will leave that for now, unless we need it at the end. I probably will read it at the end. Unless we need it, I will tell you. So that's unique. what's unique about you, what's unique about them. Now, this is their energy, and this is your energy. Oh, their energy is the death, and your energy is the page of cups. Uh, this person probably at the moment maybe the uh, in depression they're not investing their emotion in love at the moment you are in a good energy page of cups so you are opening your heart to love you are positive they not if i would see this as the energy of both of you towards this relationship i would say that you are you love this person or you open your heart to this person but this person is closed off maybe they closed off about love as general or maybe they closed off from you because i can see here it's a lot of competition or struggle in this relationship to sit back maybe other people involved in this relationship or in between you both lots of fights between you both maybe let, let us see what's going on okay. now we know their energy and their energy what's the positive about them wow <laughs> what's negative Uh, this person is very strong is very strong they can go through they fight till the end they not giving up they not easily give up they are able to figure out people who are lying on them okay what's bad or negative about them that this person is probably always busy they are very busy and 
they mainly focus on their career, their money, their spirituality. Maybe they, uh, they have a lot of freedom. They love their freedom. This person is not into commitment, I don't think. They are not looking for commitment or serious commitment. Maybe this person has got hurt a lot in the past. They are like they they were able to go through a lot. But I think that this person is more loves their freedom. And I don't think that this person is focusing on uh, like a romantic love. Or they see love in different way than you are seeing it. They see love in different way than you seeing it. Okay. What they like in their partner and what they don't like. They like someone who is committed to them. No, wait guys. What's negative about this person is they only take their decision once, not twice. Once they take their decision, they will give their back to whatever they reject or refuse or whatever they reject them and they will never look back. Once they move forward, they move forward. That's it. Maybe this is why it explains that their energy toward the reading or towards you is the death. I have feeling that this this relationship is probably you are in a separation. You are in a separation and there is lots of competition. Maybe between you both or Lots of people get involved with in this, lots of confliction maybe, or differences between you both. Give me a second, I will get another deck. This reading is very confusing actually. I want to see how you feel about this person and how they really feel about you. How you feel about them. Wow, that's a devil. <laughs> yeah, there is a competition here. Competition could be jealousness, envy, uh, you are angry of them, anger. Okay, how they feel about you. It's good feeling, they respect you. They respect you. But I can, I would say that this is feeling. It's feeling like you still, you're interested, you're still interested because this is feeling. It's anger, uh, jealousness, whatever. It's feeling. You care. If you love someone, you care. If you hate someone, you care. But this person has respect for you. And this means that this person does not have an actual love emotion to you at the moment. Could be like neutral. I can see this emotion as neutral emotion. Neutral. Exactly. Neutral emotion. Okay. Here we go. See? This relationship has ended with heartbreak for both of you, probably. It's heartbreak. Okay. I think this is you. It's not them. This is you. You're the one who's angry. Okay. Maybe this person is the one who ended this relationship. Or maybe you have been trying to attract this person for a long time or to grab their attention and uh, nothing has happened probably or you had a breakup and you have been trying to fix the situation or fix this relationship and you couldn't or they didn't give you a chance because this person as i told you what's negative about their personality is once they take a decision once they move forward they never give their back again or look back again to whatever they left behind they just move forward and keep moving forward and this person is able to detect lying detect emotions and if this is your emotion toward them they probably are able to figure it out this is just some something for you because this is what you represent or what you show me but this is the truth 
about your emotion toward them. It's on guard. Maybe attraction. It could be, but it's still negative attraction. It could be only like sexual attraction. Unhealthy attraction in a way. It's a bit bad. Okay, so let's see. What they like in their partner. What they like in their partner is someone who is straightforward, honest, loyal, committed. So this person is committed person. It's not about that they are not committed. No, no. I got that wrong. No. This person is committed, but once they give their back to something, they just forget about it. Or they don't give it another chance, maybe. So this person likes someone who is straightforward, committed, loyal, balanced, and into a serious relationship. What they dislike in their partner is someone who is hiding their emotion or someone who carries the whole responsibility alone. They could be as well like someone who shares the responsibility and someone who is equal to them or treat them as an equal. They don't want someone who hold on to the resentment, someone who hiding their emotion, uh, someone who carry the whole responsibility alone and don't ask for help, or they don't give them a chance to share in the responsibility of life. They don't like uh, the person who is not letting go. They don't like the person who hold on to the resentment and not letting go. Or mixing is bigger from nothing. Okay, what they want in the relationship and what is the deal breaker? What they want in the relationship is a relationship which is uh, moves them forward, gives them passion, based on positivity, positive energy, and something like ignite their fire. What they don't like in the relationship or what is the deal breaker? Hmm. This person does not like that victim mentality personality. The five of pentacles actually represents the hardship, rejection, negative changes to circumstances. It represents as well the feeling like the world is against you and nothing is going your way. They don't like the struggle of feeling abandoned or maybe they don't like the person as well who is always feeling negative or seeing the situation in a negative way. They don't like to be ignored in the relationship, being left out in the cold from their partner. So this is their deal breaker. If you, if someone is leaving them or leave them behind, abandon them, reject them, leave them out in the cold, not supporting them as well in the time of need. Yeah. So if you by chance have left this person in the time of need, if they did need you, and you left them while they need you, you weren't loyal to them, you abandoned them, you reject them because of their weaknesses, their health, anything like that. So this person probably is, this is their deal breaker. Because they are looking for someone who is loyal, honest, and someone who is treating them like an equal and patient with them too. Supportive, someone who is supportive. Okay, so what they are looking for now is the Eight of Swords. They just want to get out of the memory, probably. Maybe other relationships, maybe you. Okay, or just get out of that conflict, because you probably have lots of confliction between you. They just want to get themselves out of this feeling. They want to find their way. This person just up to find their way at the moment. Or maybe they want to forget about whatever happened between you both. How they see you in a positive way, how they see you in a negative way. What they see positive about you is the Nine of Swords. What they see negative is the Queen of Cups. 
Queen of Cups is the same card actually as uh, Ten of Wands. It's a negative thing. They think that negatively as you are overly emotional maybe. Or you are someone who is hiding your emotion and you're not, like, you're not expressing how you feel. They think that it is hard for you to release the past. It is hard for you to leave the past memory or to leave the burden. Probably stick to the negative emotion. They are stick to the negative emotion too. <laughs> That's weird. So what this person wants now? What they are looking for now? They are looking for actually finding their way at the moment. Just finding their way, what they want. What they find positive about you is you are there is a strong connection between you both. They think that there is a strong connection between both of you. They see you positively as someone who cares, someone who is very spiritual as well, someone who is very patient too. You are someone who is very connected with your emotion. You are very spiritual too. You someone maybe getting a vision or dreams. Uh, someone who's light-hearted too and someone who always uh, a thinker and maybe you are blaming yourself or you take the responsibility about your own actions you can control yourself too and you are a secret keeper you keep saying this to yourself you don't usually share what you have with others they think that you are very strong emotionally you are very strong emotionally too how they see the relationship with you, King of Cups. So this is mean that they see that this relationship brought them to balance or balanced them between their heart and soul. Or they see that this relationship can be balanced or bring them or bring balance to their life. I have feeling that you are asking about someone you are not in an actual relationship with. It's not only about that you are in separation. Maybe this is your uh, counselor, your doctor, your manager, maybe. Because I, like, it looks here like this person mainly see you as someone who they are looking after. So it could be this is your doctor, your psychologist, a counselor, something like that, yeah. Because this person does not see this relationship mainly like a romantic relationship more than they see it as something they it bring balance to them because they, their emotion to you is respect. They respect you, or they feel that they are responsible upon you, maybe, or something like that. They're looking after you. So you could be working together, maybe, and this person is your advisor, your manager. <laughs> or there is a big gap difference in age between you both, and they are looking after you, maybe. unique about them this person is very supportive very supportive very prosper too they are very prosper when it comes to money career spirituality they prosper to any in anything they are doing this person is able to turn anything to success this person is very supportive too they love to be successful and they love to help others to be successful too and they are they are very trustworthy this person is very trustworthy like you can trust them in their advice that's why i feel like this person is like your advisor your healer maybe 
and this person can make a very good husband or a wife whatever is energy but if you are asking about a man so this person what's unique about them they are they would be a very good husband good father very good supportive person someone you can lean on for life how can you move this relationship forward is to match them to match what's unique about them they are the king of pentacle so they will only have the queen of pentacle this is what they like about the person they're gonna be with they are seeking a soulmate a matched partner someone they equal to them the queen and the and the king are equal to each other like the queen of pentacle is not in a less position than the king of pentacle they are the good match the right match to each other so they are equal so this person is looking for someone who is equal to them their soulmate so to move this relationship forward you just need to match this person if you love to like you don't have to change yourself because what they don't like about you is you are the king of cups sorry the queen of cups but to move this relationship forward you need to be the queen of pentacle to match that person because the king of pentacle it's hard for him to be with someone who is the queen of cups someone who's over emotion someone who's over overly emotional or very sensitive so for you to move this relationship forward you need to think about being a queen of pentacle rather than being a queen of cups because this is what they don't like about you you probably holding on to your emotion you're not expressing how you feel too this person wants someone who is straightforward honest they don't read between lines this person don't read between lines it's not about that they're not smart the the king of pentacles is someone who is very smart but they don't like people who are playing games i'm not saying that you're playing games but you could be because you what you this is what you feel about them they love someone who is straightforward straightforward and they like to be prosper and they don't like in the relationship the sense of lack they like stability and they want someone who is seeking the same thing as the same as them what's your advice is to be straightforward as well be straightforward like if if you like this person or if you want to get back to that person if you want to be with them you probably need to express that because what i can feel here is that this is a huge emotional distance like this person probably does not know at all that you care about them or you even have emotion to them because this is how they feel about you respect care so if this is like your manager your advisor your doctor whatever and they have no idea this is your crush probably maybe this is your crush and they don't know that you have such emotion to them so you need to explain it or you need to show them that you care as emotion in, in emotional pains it's not about your career or your spirituality they are your advisor or you just need them no you need to explain to them or show them even in an indirect way that you care about them you care in an emotional way and you can see here this is your energy too it is a page of cups and this is your advice is page of pentacle maybe you are approaching this person not in their way in your own way you need to approach them in their way this person is straightforward maybe materialistic <laughs> could be <laughs> this is, could be a materialistic person as well like uh, they don't think that something is real unless you give them something material maybe like you give them a cup which has a frog or a fish in it while your advice is to give them a pentacle you maybe propose to them if you're in a relationship with them probably propose to them or ask them that you need them to propose to you whatever like be be straightforward and say what you want in a clear way 
material the queen of cups sometimes can be emotionally like manipulated sometimes using emotion to manipulate others sometimes so this person is up to something serious and straightforward serious yeah give them something serious something serious so like if you a man propose to this woman straightforward or tell them give them exactly something which is make them trust you trust you and tell them exactly what you want in a straightforward way they don't like you to give them like just going for a date or tell them just uh, I love you they probably want you to propose to them or offer them something serious like uh, a serious friendship a serious relationship anything serious this person is only after something serious not a fluctuated emotion Let's see now what's unique about you, what's unique about them. I will read this for you from the book. So this is what's unique about you. You are the earth mother, the cow, which is the empress. So you are the empress. Now I will read this for you from the book. The cow, the earth mother, it is the empress. And this is represent nourishment, protection, goodness, and love. As Earth Mother, Cow offers gentle advice and creative inspiration, nurturing new life, ideas, projects, and relationships. Cow reminds us to be patient and enrich early growth with attention to details. Cow encourages us to support all of our creations children, gardens, inventions, with generous love and care, but reminds us to foster their independence so they may thrive and develop in their own way. Cow reminds us that life is full, that we have plenty, and that we can share freely in Earth's abundance. Cow's appearance in a reading indicates your creative growth is on track. Cow encourage you to open your heart and allow joy to follow and blossom. So the message here for you is trust life, share, nurture, and participate with delight. So you are the empress. This is what's unique about your personality. You are the empress. So this is indicates that you are very similar to this person when it comes to abundance and creativity. You are very, very similar. But you probably is overly emotional or you take the emotion to the heart and you're not letting go of the past emotion and past hurt. This person is different. They just, once they look forward, they don't care about what's behind them. They just keep moving forward and they leave whatever they didn't choose, they leave it behind. That's what's not good about them. <laughs> but you need to know that. I believe as well that this person, once they've been rejected or left behind, or someone they leaving them, they don't care and they just keep moving. It's not about they don't care, but I think that they, they don't like to live in the past. But you are the empress. Okay. What's unique about their personality is the deer. Seven of passes. Let me read this for you. The deer. Seven of Fossils signals a creative crossroads, a moment of potential, revelation, and possibly change of direction. Generous, kind, and loving, see clearly what you need to do without complain or drama. You celebrate what is good, acknowledge what needs work, and use your talents accordingly. The message is to take time to ponder creative possibilities. Okay. This person actually is what's unique about them. That they are very patient, very detail-oriented, 
and they believe in the unlimited possibilities of abundance and whatever is not working for them they leave it behind and they keep moving forward finding another possibility another idea this is why that what they are looking in a relationship is the, the ignition someone they ignite their life with new ideas with new possibilities someone who always has hope someone who has hope in life not having only that sense of like someone as well who can support the dream the after a relationship which is supporting their dream or their passion okay so what's unique about you what's unique about them is very similar actually you are the empress and you probably don't know this about yourself because how they see you positive and negative has nothing to do with what's unique about you they can't see you're prosper you can they can't see that you are the empress and how can you move this relationship forward is to be the queen of pentacle the queen of pentacle actually very similar to the idea of the earth mother very similar really to the earth mother different than the queen of cups it's a prosperity abundance so i believe that you and this person are very close in your personality but probably you have a lot of misunderstanding a lot of misunderstanding i believe as well that you could be seeing this person or how you feel about them is mainly something based on attraction maybe sexual attraction maybe you like them what they doing it could be some envy or jealousness could be maybe you are codependent emotionally on this person it's just not healthy let me check why you have the devil card could be angry of them you you are thinking about this person obsessively you have obsession about them you see this person as someone who is very strong be able to overcome any situation or maybe they did overcome whatever happened between you both or whatever happened in their life I feel that you hiding something so weird why you are feeling that devil to this person You like them. You like them. You are obsessed about them. You have obsession about this person. So why you have this obsession? Uh, because of this card. Maybe they rejected you. You rejected them. You had a breakup, a bad breakup. You miss them. You miss them. You are missing them. This is could be as well that this person, there is a breakup happened between you both. Maybe you, you the one who rejected them. They the one who rejected you. I think it where it resonates anyway. So this is why that you are very attracted to that person because you either missing them or you think that this person need your help maybe you 
Let me get your account. See what is the future for this relationship. Hope. What's that? Hope. Have hope. Have hope. And if this relationship needs healing, or you or them need healing, maybe you need to give it time. But just have hope. Always have hope. And just be serious in this relationship. If you want something with this person, you probably need to show them that you care or you want. If you had a breakup together, you probably need to let them know that you want to be with them or you want to talk to them or you still care or whatever. Just give them something serious. Something serious. Speak straightforward. Be straightforward. That's it. If it is possible, like giving the own what is your situation. Let me tell you what is the star signs I have here. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Scorpio again, Cancer. And all the energies are here. Okay. I hope you like this reading. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And I should see you next time. Thank you.